what's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a superhero landing in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So I'm going to be showing you two different superhero landings, which were the videos you saw at the start and they're really simple to do. So as you can see I have the clip of me jumping and then landing right here. Now I'm just going to come across with the frames by pressing the arrows on my keyboard and find where I land which is right here and I'll press M on my keyboard to lay down a marker this lets me know when I actually land. So I'm going to be showing you this one first and the way we get rid of this green screen we need to head over to video effects. If you don't see video effects and simply come to view, windows layout and select default layout. From video effects you're going to select chroma key and then you can add on pure green screen drag and drop it and it's off the screen like that. Now we need to position it. Before we actually position it though, with this green screen as you can see, this expands out like that. So I'm going to find where it's fully expanded, which is right here. I'm going to press S on my keyboard to split it. And I'm going to now fast or speed up all of this part. So I'm going to come to the end of this clip and I'm going to hold control and drag it left. As you can see, this now makes it super fast. So I'm now going to position this to where the crack just starts which is right here and I'm going to drag this clip here to sync it up. Now we're going to make this bigger so it's also positioned around the feet area. So I'm going to come to the track motion for this, make sure sync cursor is unchecked, come to the start of the first keyframe and come across your timeline and then just simply move this to position. Now yes there is this border here we will fix it in a minute so I'm just going to position this in place and make sure it's in place here. As you can see it's a bit too big so I'm going to size this down. There we go, that's how I want it. So I'm going to X out of this. Now let's get rid of this black screen we're seeing. Now what we're going to do is come back to this button here which will bring us back to the chroma key effect and we're going to bring up the low threshold like that. Now we're just going to left click this number, highlight it, press Control C, X out of it, come to this clip over here and of course we need to put the same effect here, Control V, enter, X out of it, we have that, we no longer have that black around it. So if I play this through from the beginning now, as you can see, that is what we get. Now the next landing is the Hancock landing and this is from Best Green Screens and we're just going to find where it happens. So here it is right here. As you can see, it actually goes off screen. So I'm going to go back a few keyframes, S on my keyboard, delete the remaining on the right hand side. So from here, once again, we need to remove this green screen by coming to video effects, chroma key, pure green screen, and we get this black again. Remember, bring up the threshold a bit, and it gets rid of it like that. And we can X out of this, and now this time, uh, remember the track motion, we already done it earlier, so let's just put it back to normal for now. We need to find where this effect happens, which is right here. So, I'm now going to trim this part, and I'm going to drag it up here, so then, as soon as we land, this is what it'll look like. So track motion again, I'm going to come across on my timeline and I'm going to make this bigger and position it underneath my feet, like that. So if I play this from the beginning now, this is what we'll get. Just like that. And then of course it goes off screen, so that is the reason why I also changed the camera angle in the video you saw at the start. What you can do though, from here, uh, press it right here as you can see there's only a few particles in the air so this is a good point to use. S on the keyboard, hold control and extend it out. Then this is what we'll get. So it lasts the entire clip just like that. But that's how simple it is to create a superhero landing in Sony Vegas. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.